My guy Tilt Money says uh, Trubisky was so overrated coming out one year starting. Yes, I am biased because I what he went to NS NCSU, but I don't think he's an upgrade at backup for QB. Oh, he says, oh, he doesn't. Or do you are do you think? I, I'm I'm trying to think. I don't. I think he says he doesn't think he's an upgrade at the at the backup. He feels that we should have kept Matt Barkley. Matt Barkley, Barkley, or, Barkley ain't good either. <laughs> what do you I, think? We, if we have more time, I'll go into my whole backup quarterback spiel. Uh, backup quarterback is a completely different position from quarterback. From Let's talk about it, man. Let's go. Um, I don't evaluate quarterbacks and backup quarterbacks equally. A lot of people think it's just different tiers of the same position. Um, I evaluate backup quarterback as if it's a completely different position. I don't even consider it the same position. And, um, and I might, well, before you continue, I must preface. He says he does think that he's an upgrade. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he sure. is because Barkley ain't good. Got it. Um, but but whenever I look at a quarterback, I, I look at a quarterback, and there's, there's only one question you should ever ask yourself. Do I think he can start in the NFL? If the answer is yes, without conditions, then he's a first-round pick. That's that's all there is to it. If your answer is yes and you don't say, well, he needs a little bit of seasoning, maybe in a couple of years, if, if you don't add any of that crap, he's a first-round pick. Um, if you add anything to it, if you have to say, well, he might need a couple of years of seasoning, he's got to put some time under his belt. He needs to develop more as a passer. His his pocket presence isn't as good. He needs to update his mechanics. But there's always a condition. Now you're talking about a developmental quarterback. That's that second, third tier of quarterback. But a backup quarterback, you're not looking at a guy who can play because most backup quarterbacks are absolute trash when they get on a football field. You're you're looking at a guy who's smart who has played in multiple offenses in college, Right. who comes from a football family. Um, what was the other ones? I, I, I've, I've had this whole thing built out because it's, it's a whole different position. It because is. You're not, you're not looking about, you're not looking at that guy like, is he going to get on a football field and play well? You're looking at is, is he going to be able to get on a football field and run the offense as designed without miscommunication, without breakdowns with his receivers, without being able, without screwing up those line calls, that's what you're looking at out of your backup because a backup is going to go out on the field and probably suck. That's just the way it is. So when you're looking up a backup quarterback, you're looking at a guy who is, who is there to help your starter and evaluate the types of looks that the defense has given, get in his ear during, during plays and play from that sideline. That's a totally different position than actual quarterback. Mitchell Trubisky is in the backup. He's a developmental starting quarterback. He's a guy that could play if he cleans up like a million things in this game. Got it. So he's not there to help Josh Allen. He's there to go in if Josh Allen gets hurt, to Back. hopefully develop and become a better player so that the Bills can either flip him for picks or if Josh Allen gets hurt because he's on the move, he gets hit a lot. Um, you know, we saw that with with uh, Big Ben in, in, uh, in Pittsburgh. He's a big guy, but he liked to move around for quite a few years. He got hit a lot. Eventually, you start to wear down. So you get a guy like Trubisky who can kind of step in when he needs to. That's what the Bills are looking at for a guy like him. You just mentioned something uh, that I never it never really crossed my mind. You said that they could have picked up Mitchell Trubisky to flip him for picks. Um, so, and which brings me to two players, Mitchell Trubisky and Jake Fromm. So, Jake Fromm, trash? Because a lot of yeah. people are not a fan of Jake Fromm. No, Fromm ain't good. He, he doesn't have a very good arm. He has no athleticism. Um, there aren't a lot of, of upside developmental traits to him. Um, he's not one of those guys that you look at and you're like, I think he can start in the NFL. Again, that's that, that main question you got to ask. Like, do I think he can start in the NFL? For me, that answer was no for okay. Fromm. Okay. Um, then you look at what he has as a backup traits. Fromm played for an offense that was really bad at Georgia, that had a lot of problems with it. Um, you know, we, we would actually saw there was a big conversation on Twitter today about if you put anybody else into that Georgia offense, would they even be good? If you put Justin Fields into that offense, would he have done well? He would have done better than Fromm, but he probably wouldn't have played well. That offense just wasn't designed very well and didn't execute very well. Mm. So Fromm was put in a bad position um, in, in college, except for his first year. He's pretty good his first year. Um, and he was just put in a bad position, but he didn't have any traits to overcome the deficiencies that the offense was giving him with. Um, the answer to the why the hell did we draft from is I don't I don't know. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have drafted him. In the fifth round for crying out loud. Yeah, I wouldn't have drafted him. 